that if you have bad qualities most probably you got it from your peers those you mixed with sometimes they might even be your family members sometimes even your parents so if you have a bad quality you probably got it from somewhere but you didn't get it from Allah you got it from the devil that devil came to you in the form of possibly most probably your friends and your peers and sometimes this devil comes in the form of your best friend may Allah protect us sometimes the devil comes using the mouth of really someone who's very close to you Shaitan is very sharp. He's very intelligent. So sometimes the upbringing in the home is very, very good. But the school you send your child to, they learn an accent from that school, which is totally unacceptable. They begin to speak slang. They begin to sway. They begin to cheat and steal. All that is from the school. We need to be careful which schools we send our children to. We need to be careful what type of friends our children mix with. And bigger than that, more important than that, how, what type of people we mix with ourselves. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Furqan, Regarding the one who did not have good company. Definitely on the day of Qiyamah, they will regret and say, Ya Allah, this person whom I was associated with, my friend, my bosom buddy, they made me forget you, Ya Allah. And definitely Shaitan was very deceiving to me, Ya Allah. Now let me inform you, when a person is smoking, Nine times out of ten, they've learned it from people they mixed with. When a person is on drugs, nine times out of ten, it is from people they associated with. When a person is an adulterer, nine times out of ten, they've learned it from the company they have. When a person does not come for salah, nine times out of ten, it is because that is the trend around the people they mix with. When a person is an alcoholic, nine times out of ten, it is because those who are whom the, he or she is with is also like that. When a person has a bad mouth, it's also the same. And that is why rehabilitation is a waste of time if you yourself do not want to help yourself because i promise you a person who's on drugs a person who's an alcoholic a person who has any bad habit it is up to you to change the whole world can want to rehabilitate you forever and ever but if that quality is still in your heart it is a waste of time and money for everybody to to be worried about you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us And this is why Allah says, if you want to save yourself, the first thing you need to do, change your company totally, totally, every one of them, change them. If you are a bad person on drugs, cut out your whole friendship. And parents of those who are on drugs, let me inform you, extremely important, you might want to change the suburb and the city you are living in, in order to protect your son or your daughter. You might want to go into a remote town so that your children can abstain from those they mixed with. It will do you a ton of good. Even though your income might have decreased, you, you will save your children. That's the importance of the locality you live in, the importance of it and how serious it is. Your suburb, the area you live in, be careful, make sure you choose it properly. You rather live in a slum where the people around you all go to the masjid than to live in a palace where nobody talks about the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from evil company. That is one of the biggest plans of shaitan is he comes to you through your company, your company, your company. And this is why we are taught when you want to know someone, don't look at them. Just look at the people they mix with and close the file. That's it. We say this normally regarding marriage. You want to know a boy, you want to know a girl. More important than asking them about themselves. Look at those they mix with. That's it. Close the file thereafter. If they are drunkards, they can turn green in their faces telling you I've never drunk. They are lying. What are they doing with those? I've given an example and I want to repeat this example. When you see fish in the ocean, you will notice the whale moves with all other whales. You will notice the little bream move with other breams. The snook moves with snook. The hake moves with hake and so on. I'm using names of fish we eat actually. Subhanallah. But you will never find one small fish, one big fish, one other fish, one hook, meaning one snook and one hake and so on. You won't find that. <laughs> the reason is that is foolish. They have to have something in common to be moving together. The same applies to human beings. Someone who's pious and someone who's a drunkard, they can't move together. Really. It's like a sardine moving with a whale. Allahu Akbar. It can't happen. One will devour the other. Allahu Akbar. 
So this is why let them not fool you when they tell you, look, I'm not on drugs, but the 10 guys who I mix with, they're all on drugs. Tell him you are the boss. You are the main one. Don't lie. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our offspring. Remember those who are tested with drugs. It is up to you really to change yourself. No one else. You need to develop the willpower and you need to make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our offspring from drugs. And may he protect our offspring from all these bad habits. Wallahi, there are good people who lose their children just because of their company. Allahu Akbar. There is so much we could utter about this because that is the root of shaitan's plan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us conscious of shaitan's plan.